So in the last tutorial we saw how to set up our navigation so that it was exactly how we know it uh, in Maya and so that it works perfectly within, within 3ds Max. Something else we might want to do since we're so used to Maya um, is to set up some of the other keyboard shortcuts that we that we know how to use. For example the uh, uh, the famous just pressing spacebar to go between views um, the pressing G to repeat your last command and other keyboard shortcuts that we may want to know. So to do that again we're going to the customize user interface menu and from here uh, this time instead of going to the mouse we're going to stay within our keyboard uh, shortcuts menu here. So the first thing I want to do is look for what uh, how to switch my views by using the spacebar. Uh, by default in 3ds Max, that is set to the Alt W, that's set to maximize viewport toggle. Um, so instead of that be the shortcut, we want it to be the spacebar. So we have to find it here within our shortcuts first. So we know that the name it goes by its maximize viewport. So I'm just going to press M X, M A X. Okay, as you can see, it's right here. So, I'm going to click here, I'm going to make sure you click on the word first, so it's the maximize viewport toggle, and then click on the hotkeys, and then just press the space bar. Okay, and again it's going to tell you if it's being used for something. In this case, if I remember correctly, it wasn't really being used for anything important to my knowledge, so I just decided to switch that, and then assign it. Okay. So now our spacebar is going to work perfectly for switching our views. Okay, another uh, shortcut that I like to use in Maya a lot is the repeat last command, um, which is usually by just pressing G. So for, to set up that one, I'm just going to look for the repeat. Okay, so we have two here. We have the repeat last and then just the repeat last, but it's uh, under the poly. I'm going to set that to be under the poly um, so that it works when I'm editing my geometry only. So I'm going to the keyboard here and I'm going to press G and in my case it's already set up for that one. Um, again it's going to say that it's set for something else I believe this one is set for something else but again I'm going to just replace it. Okay. Something else um, that I really like in Maya is to enable my soft selection, uh, which is usually the B button. So let's look for soft selection here. Press soft. Okay. So we have many soft selection options here, but the one I want is the soft selection toggle, which is uh, toggles the soft selection on and off. So I'm going to set it to B, and it's going to tell you that B is uh, set so that. Uh, switch viewports for the bottom view which is not something that I'm going to use too much so I'm going to replace it and use it for my soft selection. Another hotkey that I really like to use is the growth selection um, so let's go ahead and look for that. And again you don't have to set these up if you don't really use them too much you can still fi find all the options uh, within menus. Okay so I'm going to press glow I mean grow okay and we're going to grow selection and again, I'm going to set it so that's under our poly. So I grow my selection of polygons when I'm editing my geo. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to set it to shift dot, which is what I usually use in Maya, and assign it. So that's our grow selection. So that's pretty much all the, the most essential um, hotkeys that I used in Maya. Uh, if you have other uh, hotkeys that you normally use within Maya for modeling or whatever else, uh, just make sure you come here and look for them. Uh, just remember that some of the tools do have different names, so uh, be careful with that. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, how you set up your shortcuts so that they match uh, the ones in Maya. Or if you want to set those up for different keys, that's also fine. But I'm just setting it up so that it's exactly like Maya. Okay, so you can save it, uh, usually saves if you close it, uh, to save the whole interface, just go to the save, custom UI, and then just save it.
Okay, it's gonna save everything just click OK and now you're pretty much set you should be set and the next time you close max and open it again everything should be working fine so just the space bar and the G and all the other tools okay so in the next video I'm going to show you how to go about uh, creating an object within 3ds max and how to edit uh, the object okay